Welcome to the Weiss Earth Science Museum. Here we have a large variety of fossils that have been collected and donated from locations all over the United States. Let's go take a look. I mean, when they come out of the ground, they don't look this nice, but how do you get them to look like that for the museum? So when we find a dinosaur bone in the field, we have to make a protective case around the rock and bone so that it can be easily transported to the lab, just like this. And once we do that, the fun part begins. Now that our dinosaur bone has made it safely into our lab, preparation work can begin. Here are some of the tools that I will be using to uncover this Allosaur vertebrae. These three stiff brushes are helpful for cleaning different areas of the bone because of their varying sizes. This stiff toothbrush is useful for not only cleaning dino teeth, but all different kinds of bone. The three soft bristle brushes help clear the loose rock from the areas of bone I'm working around. Dental picks are used to gently pick away at the surrounding rocks. In this case, the rock is very easy to remove. Tweezers are helpful in removing any small pieces of bone that have been broken off. And lastly, a pin vise is used to grind off some of the more stubborn rocks surrounding the bone. Here I'm using one of the dental tools and a soft brush to clear the loose rocks. Once I've gathered a nice pile, I scoop out the debris while watching out for any broken bone fragments. I'm using acetone to identify what is bone and what is rock. Since acetone dries quickly, I reapply it a few times to help loosen or dry out any mud left on the bone. I'm continuing to go around the casing, picking away with the dental pick and using a few soft brushes. Whenever I uncover new areas of bone, I apply some glue to help stabilize it from further breaking. Now, going in again with the acetone, I continue to clean various pieces with the stiff brushes. As I continue to work down to the bottom, here I am removing some of the jacket to make it look a little bit neater. Continuing to clean the bone, the toothbrush is very useful for getting in between all the little grooves. As I continue to clean it, it is getting more noticeable as to where the areas of bone are.
In this area specifically, I found a large amount of bone fragments and am carefully removing them with the tweezers. The vertebrae I've been working on in this video took me about a month's work of preparation. Something like this would take many years of preparation. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.